Hello guys, me cards up as a Capricorn of Earth, and I'm gonna do a review of all three Crown Jewel races from Memorial Day weekend. So, the F1 race was boring as usual, and usually where you start is where you finish. Like, Leclerc got the pole and he led wire to wire, and his rival Max Verstappen and just didn't do well in the Monaco Grand Prix as he finished six after qualifying six. So it was just follow the leader, you know, because the track's too narrow to drive on that track and they were running a minute fifteen to twenty range, I believe, and some were able to like keep pace with him, but the clear just Mow down the field and yeah, probably around six seconds ahead of Oscar Piastri, who in his second year of F1, man, he is a rock star. I'm telling you, he can qualify, he can race. I think he has a bright future. He can probably dethrone Max Verstappen. So. Yeah, you have superstars that are winning races a lot and can do it race by race in a year. And then all of a sudden they fell, fall like a rock. And while at the same time they can still score championship points, they just don't win as often as they usually do, like Lewis Hamilton and Verstappen. But it happens in F1, and I don't think many people will watch it. But if those viewerships are proof that why not many people watch it, then hey, you're watching the wrong sport. So. Yeah, so it was 78 laps and kind of like a mini short track for the F1 series. So I will, that's it for that F1. Now Indy 500, so I want to give you an update of Carl Larson's day, and he started fifth. His restarts were iffy as he missed a shift one time and he lost several spots, but otherwise he was able to gain them back through a bunch of cautions and, you know, just getting a good toe in front of him and passing him, and these uh, open wheel cars in IndyCar are very tough. While in NASCAR, you're able to pass guys because of the heavy stock cars and no end. Uh, there's the it's the air resistance in a heavier stock car versus a IndyCar, which means you're more likely saying, "Oh." Why is this follow the leader all the time? <laughs> like one by one and just barely get to pa pass the car. So yeah. And then I believe lap 120 to 25 range, 125 range. Kyle Larson's just speeding on pit lane and I could tell by the TV broadcasts. Yeah, he smoked the tires so bad. He's just... F did man. He just knew oh man. I just screwed up and ruined my whole race, but unfortunately he finished eighteenth. So yeah. Congrats to jo Joseph Newgarden for winning the Indy five hundred and won it for the second year in a row. So and to update today about Kyle Larson. He is your 2024 Indy 500 Rookie of the Year over Christian Rasmussen, who finished 12th. But it's based on like a how well you did in practice, qualifying, and having fan influence in social media thing there. So I'm proud of what Larson did. If he didn't run the race, he may have not gotten this reward. So hey. Let's shift focus to the race that he should have started, but the rain just kept pouring 
in both Indy and Charlotte. So he didn't run the Coke 600 yesterday. He had so Justin Allgaier run the five car for him. And Allgaier came from the back and just climbed his way to the front. He might, he was a lap down earlier, got the wave around, or free pass. I don't know if he had a free pass, but hmm. I wasn't watching the race because I was put to the Indy 500 the most. So. But, anyways, Allgaier did a good job, finished for 13. And as for Christopher Bell, I believe he was in front. I don't know where he started, but. This is his second win of the season. Like, he was as low as 15 points already, and he needed a shot in the arm to get his joke as racing team on track because it's been hell. Like, four straight DNFs. I don't know if it's accurate, but it sure felt like four straight DNFs that, like, what Christopher Bell said in the interview, he says his team is inconsistent in a way that, oh, it's just, I've been screwed in so many situations this year that, that my pit crew wasn't doing it, I wasn't doing it, the driver, so, look, I'm so, I'm so glad Christopher Bell won, so, yeah, it's just the way it is, so. So, your F1 winner was strong for Leclerc. Your Indy 500 champion is Joseph Newgarden. And Coke 600 goes to Chris Rebell. So, the Monaco, Indy, and Charlotte triple is complete. And everybody that is a fan of these race winners on Memorial Day weekend, I'm proud of you guys. This is a strong motorsports community as... I've been following these motorsports discipline for many years, so hope I can do it again, and hopefully Larson can do better next time, next year, when it comes around 365 days from now, so, so I'll make it happy on the path. Hope you all have a great evening and a good day, and peace out.